Hey everybody, it's Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have a stamp and show and tell for you today and we're going to be using abstract impressions. So this is a card I created for the Case the Sketch Challenge number 275. This was near the beginning of the month of June. Uh, I'm sharing it with you today and I'm also going to let you know that abstract impressions along with the Sinlet dies will be my Bumble to Go product for July. So in July, if you happen to purchase with me and you spend $75, you get my Bundle to Go tutorials for free by email at the end of the month. If you want to purchase the kits from my five exclusive tutorials, you can do that. The link is below with the information for that. But today I'm just going to show you how I put this one together and uh, let's have some stampin' fun. Okay, so as you can see, this case was a pretty simple one, you know, a card with a piece of uh, some sort of different paper and then a pep uh, pepped up embellishment. So that's what I did. So I used Fresh Fig as my base and I'm using Whisper White as my neutral. I'm using a piece of designer series paper from the uh, Tranquil Textures uh, bundle. And so this has got a lot of those um, polka dots that I really like. Looks like somebody put their pencil eraser in ink and dotted it down. So let's go ahead and stamp. So there's the project we're doing and let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to take my Fresh Fig ink and I happen to have my two stamps on my long block so don't get concerned about that. I have them on different sides. So first I'm going to stamp this flower and I'm going to stamp it once and then stamp it again. And I'm just creating a background pattern on my cardstock. I didn't want to leave it completely plain, so I decided to stamp some texture on there. Okay, the next thing we do is we're simply going to add our designer series paper. So I'm just going to put some snail on the back of that. And I'm going to position that on my card. So I'm leaving about a half an inch on the left of my paper there. So that's pretty simple. Okay, now I have our eighth inch fresh fig ribbon. I actually have two of them. One I'm going to wrap and one I'm going to tie into a bow. So here's a little cheater for you. I'm going to put a little bit of snail behind where my popped up embellishment is going to go and I'm going to start my ribbon right there on the edge. Then I'm going to wrap it around goes through the inside of my card and then back up this end and I'm just going to tack that into the other end of the snail. So it's adhered here behind where my embellishment's going to go but it's not adhered anywhere else so I don't have any of that sticky adhesive poking out. Okay, then I'm going to take my 8 inch piece and I'm just going to make two loops crisscross them and make my bunny ear bow Pull that loop through, and then you can just work that bow to be whatever size you want it to be. When you're happy with it, pull your tails together, and then just snip them off at the same time, and then you'll have a nice even tails on your bow, and we'll put that on after we get our embellishment done. Okay, so now I've taken a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and I've run it through my Big Shot with my stitched framelit circles. Okay, that's going to become our embellishment focal point. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp on there. So now for this I'm going to stamp and stamp off my ink so that I can get dark and light. So I'm going to bring in a little bit of uh, extra paper here just to stamp off my image. So I'm going to start with the grass or the stems and I'm going to start with the thicker image. See there's a thick image and then there's a thinner image. So the thick one I'm going to stamp in my ink pad. I'm going to stamp it once on my scrap mat to stamp off a little and then I'm going to stamp on my embellishment piece. So I have a lighter green. Now I'm going to flip it over and use the thinner blades. This time I'm not going to stamp off. I'm going to stamp right over the top with full color. So I've got two different greens going on there. So now with the same idea I'm going to bring in the fresh fig. 
First I'm going to stamp that full flower and I'm going to ink that up and then I'm going to stamp it off so that my color will be lighter when I put the flowers on my embellishment tag. And then I flip it over and I'm going to stamp with full ink and I'm not going to stamp off. And I'm going to come right in and put some highlight color on those flowers. Okay, so stamp and stamp off. So you get the same color ink, but two different tones. Okay, so now on the bottom of this, we're just going to stamp our thank you sentiment from this set. And I'm just going right over the stems, just like that. Then I'll use a couple of dimensionals, and I will pop that right up on top of where that ribbon seam was on our card. And we all know our secrets, just you and me. Okay, so this is going to go right over like that. We've got our bow. I'm going to use a glue dot. Stick that on. I'm just going to put that right below my embellishment circle. And there's the front of our card. So I'm going to give that card a good creasing so it'll stay shut. Be good there. Now, because we have a fresh big card, we want to add a liner, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the inside as well. And while I'm at it, we'll do the envelope, because I'm going to repeat the same idea. Now we are going to want to stamp and stamp off again, kind of mimic what we did before. So I'm going to start with the green, and I'm going to ink full and stamp off, and then stamp on there. And I'm going to repeat that on my envelope. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. I'm not stamping off this time. I'm using full ink on both of my images. Okay. Now you know what we're going to do. We're going to repeat it with the flowered image with the fresh big ink. So again, the full flower I stamp off. And then on my card. So we can mute that color a little bit, and then we'll use full ink to highlight some of that color. Okay, so there you go. Oh, and there's my local firehouse. So, it must be 5 o'clock. So, there's our card project. This is just going to become the liner. And pull my snail back in here, put that down, and we are finished. Okay, everybody, so again, this was the card I cased for the case this sketch challenge at the beginning of the month, and it's going to be the featured product in my bundle to go for July. So all my links are below as usual. The tutorial will be on next Tuesday's edition of the show and tell. So sign up for that and don't miss out on anything. And thanks for stamping with me this month. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.